<clears throat> Thank God for the Gobert Towns trade. I told you. I told you. They called me a madman. They called me crazy. All right, they were clowning me. I was getting clowned, harassed even. And look what happened. KD not getting traded. Now, did the circumstances play out how I thought they were going to play out? No, but... <laughs> I didn't even need to make that many free agency videos. I thought I, was, I thought free agency was about to go crazy. I was going to make all these trade videos. And then, like, I mean, I, I guess I could have made a video about the DeJounte trade and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm a Nets channel. I'm the voice of the Nets, okay? I'm the voice of the Nets fan base. None of that really concerns me. Except how, and how it positively benefits me. DeJounte got traded for a pretty decent haul, to be honest. Gobert got traded for, like, four picks and all type of stuff. And then Nets didn't want Aiden, rightfully so, because ain't nobody was trying to give him the max. All right, besides the Pacers. But then uh, Suns see the offer sheet and sign it within 90 seconds. So he not even going to trade it. And... Now it's like all this, all the big blockbuster traits already happened. It was really just Rudy Gobert and DeJounte Murray. That's kind of crazy. I mean, I guess there's still like the Donovan Mitchell trade. Aside from that, it feels like the world was like just waiting for Kevin Durant to get moved somewhere and then the Kyrie move and all that stuff. But in reality, nothing's even happened and the Nets are finna run it back as they should because I don't remember if I said this in the other video, but KD's best chance of winning is on the Nets. The only way he could go get moved is if the team gets gutted and at that point, they'd just be worse than the Nets, right? It wouldn't really, it doesn't really make sense for him to get traded to a different team when that team has to give up so much the roster wouldn't be enough on top of that it's just like delusional lakers and suns fans just holding out hope but i think that the suns fans are done now because Aiden just got his 30 million and he can't get traded so they're like oh we, we, january 15th he's not gonna trade to the nets bro the nets don't want him and he doesn't want brooklyn like it's simple it's that simple i don't like the people who, who just like oh okay now he's gonna get traded for like two picks like come on kevin durant i want you to understand this kevin durant has four years on his contract we don't have to trade him <laughs> we simply don't have to trade and if he ever decides hmm i want to play basketball you know considering how much he loves ba playing basketball it's, it's a pretty simple conclusion to come up with that at the end of the day he's the one who wants to play basketball he's the one who wants to win a chip and this is the best situation for him and he also has four years on his deal like it's He's not getting traded. I don't know. For anything less than like Scotty Barnes, OG Anobi, Gary Trent, like something crazy. Like, and the Suns don't have it. We're not trading for no Jay Crowder, Tory Craig, Mikhail Bridges. No, we don't know. Like, that's not happening, though. The Suns fans really have the goal to be like, oh, we don't want to trade Mikhail Bridges and Cam Johnson together and trade for KD. Like, bro, you're not getting KD for a bunch of role players, dog. Like, <laughs> like use your brain. Come on now. Think critically i already talked about all this in the previous videos i'm not gonna repeat myself yeah the way it's looking we're gonna run it back and it's gonna go swell it's gonna go swimmingly because there shouldn't be any more bs we had a bunch of bs in the se previous two seasons and i think it's gonna go much better this season but anyway back to the rest of the league you got dejounte murray making interesting comments yeah that one TikTok of chat where the guy was taking a video of him and recorded him and I asked him about what's his favorite sneakers and he just did not respond. And people somehow got mad about that, even though he doesn't have to respond to anything. He could just chill, like, I don't have people, attention seekers. Like, you're not entitled to his attention. But anyway, I, let's talk about the rookies. Yeah, the rookies been going crazy. Like, I think Keegan Murray just got Summer League MVP. Uh, rightfully so, that boy was going crazy. Paolo Panchero is looking like a star and I'm making no cap. His passing, his vision, his scoring ability, his athleticism, like, he just looks like, like a problem. Chet looks like a problem. Josh Giddy, his passing is just... Mm, I know he's not a rookie, but I feel like the giddy chat two-man game finna go crazy. We'll see how Shea goes next season. Just with them three, man. Like, I feel like some, there's definitely something special with them three. And then the young core around them, like, yeah, Uzman Dieng, Jalen Williams, Jalen Williams. Um, Like, they look they look devious. They look devious. And then Jabari, he, he cool. He cool. I think he'll be pretty good. But Rockets got a squad, but I don't think they got a squad like the Thunder. I would say in order to the squads, I'll probably say the Thunder first, then... The Rockets, just because they got Jalen Green, they got rid of the Eric Gordon money, they got rid of the Christian Wood money. Like, I feel like they're gonna take a step a little bit. Uh, unless the Magic are just like completely 100% healthy, then I'll put the Magic above them because they got like Jonathan Isaac, uh, Franz Vaughn. Like, they got a squad, uh, they, got a, they got bodies, they got depth. Rookies look pretty nice. League's in good hands, and I can't wait for some more real juicy topics to talk about during this offseason, bro. Because, uh, you know?